age flani ya, ma- ya wazazi wakifika wanakuwa na time yao kuongea tu usiku. Mm. Si eti hata wako mechi ama nini, ni story tu. So kumbe waja dose. So madana sikia tu songa, songa, songa hiyo design. <laughs> Nakwambia hiyo day nilala nje. Ha? Ha? True. Demo aliacho ndani mimi nikadala nje. Hata masaa yake akikuona tu unacheka cheka tu na sister yako ovyo ovyo na mspunk. Unaona sister na una sister yako. Jana ndio wewe pia. Jobri lakini mambo ya kuna kwanza tumeanzia. Sister yako. Awacha cheki. Ona wewe unataka kutupa proof too much in for this point. No. Iki tu happen. Iki tu happen. Una una get Hmm. Uja hii realize unaweza date them mre, mwenye si mrembo kuliko sister yako. Of course mimi nilikuwa nanga jikoni kwa sababu ka jikoni unajiunga sign gani imejaa alafu unajua ukipeleka kwa meza unajua venye uta position una get. Eh? Ama so, unaleta zingine ile ya mingi utakuja uta nayo kika. Eh hey, utakuja nayo ya mwisho. Utakuja nayo kika. <laughs> so muda alikuwa like wanaume mnakaa na wanaume. <laughs> Hata huyu jamani product ya mzai na mzai. That's why mzai ndio na wewe. Si, <laughs> like, amelelewa na baba yake. You get it. Oh. Mm-hmm. Kwa nuru kwa nadhani ni amzaa kwa sababu mzaa na mzaa mimi am like wow you want to claim my dad is gay. <laughs> no 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 no. no. <laughs> why why? <laughs> you are thinking loud. Okay. So ako hivi but huyu angekuwa amelelewa na masa peke yake ingekuwa na mkuza anasema ai acha something pushed him hello guys hello guys hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel and more specifically welcome back to speakers corner podcast of course this is one place where we don't intimidate we don't judge and we are not uh, biased in your opinions because uh, we tend to believe that everyone is right uh, on their own fields or in their own thoughts but of course we are here to just make sure we discuss some of your thoughts and to see if indeed they are of value or they are of consent amani Umbuak ni let me use that word but I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, before ni onge mambo mengi of course. You must have noted that I have some amazing guests over here and it is very good. Uh, if they say a word or two before we commence our show of today. Yeah, ja na Bali. Hata nisha ku introduce but it's okay you just speak to them. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> mm. So guys, welcome back to the, this episode. Eh, yeah. sina maneno mimi. Hata kwa superstar nge. Ni mmesema tukuje to have a discussion. I never knew guys mtakuwa mna flow in English design. Kwani rada kunaenda aje. Relax, relax. Tunakuelewa. Kunaenda. Unasema language ni baria. Unajaribu kutuambia language ni baria mnasema. Design mnapiga Kiingereza mpaka nasikia it biased like I Eh but to stress we we got you. Nikitaka sasa tuelewane vizuri. Itabidi mimi mmenipeleka pale pale. Okay. Mm. Welcome guys. This is one of the biggest show in 254 Western Kenya. Every time ukiona kitu kama hii, make sure that ndio urudi kesho. Unafinya subscribe mm-hmm. get to end the mm-hmm. So leo nilikuwa nataka to discuss about the issues ama the things that uh, people are willing to do out the extent any people who are willing to go just for fame for cloud for the clicks ya internet because again ni kama squeeze pia ukiangalia ni kama watu wengi wame wameka feti yao sana iko kwa internet and not kwa hizo vitu zingine because yani watu squeeze wana tend to appreciate likes ama views more than at a reputation ya mtu respect and anything and just recently maybe sijui uh, kama umekuwa in a position ya kuona kuna umekuwa na history yenye imekuwa na escalate ya ogaobina Uh, we all know Bina has been doing very well kwa, kwa social media recently. Naweza sema kama miezi tatu nyuma Bina ame take over vibaya sana. Tangu afutwe kazi kwa radio. Yeah, mm-hmm. tangu afutwe kazi kwa radio ni kama alianza yeah. kuweka makucha yote ubiri kwa online platforms mm-hmm. which is a good thing yeah. sometimes kwa kuwa self employed, si ndio? So kumekuwa na hii couple lenye imekuwa na trend, uh, the boys, yeah, and the lady. Wamekuwa na claim hao ni sisters though we don't know. 
and sister, uh, sister and sister and brother sorry for that eh napenda vile unakuanga sharp sana let's see yeah yani ni kama brother and sister but they have been dating love your story menda out inje vibaya sana so i'm um, just here nataka we yani tu tujaribu ku discuss tu ni kwanza how valid is that Sijui kama umekaa mio story eh, na, na Bali. Yeah, yeah, story nimesikia. Me the first time nikisikia eh, was it present earlier ama ilikuwa nani? Yeah, But mimi sikuamini your story from the get go because if I'm sleeping with my sister the last thing I would want me <laughs> wase wajue. Yeah, enyewe. <laughs> why? 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 No, no, no. So <laughs> And then after a while wakaenda interview na Obina. So ile Obina so ile jamaa anakula sister yake. Apparently kuna mse na sister yake wanapigana mtu. No wanaambia watu. Mm wanatangaza, wanafanya ma interview. Oh. In fact wana charge interviews. Mm-hmm. Kuwa interview. Mm. And it's a problem that hadi wanaweza kata ni price ya interviews. Mm-hmm. Topic ya interview ni I'm sleeping with my sister. And that, that that just embodies the problem when you talk social media where everyone is willing to tell their dirty secrets ama sometimes and in most cases create stories for the clicks. Yeah. No, no. Because story to the wana watu ni kama wewe na mimi tukae tu chini. Eh hey. tuseme wewe uliwahi kufa. Mimi nikakufufua. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. So tukishaelewana hivyo tunaanza kuambia tukuje tuelezee story bila nilifufua huyu. Na mlipe. We have some so maybe pia ni business. Sana ni ndio wajinga wa Kenya ndio washenzi. Wa Kenya ndio wajinga. Um I think ina get out of hand. Mm na consider any trend in a happen. People are just doing anything. Ndio wa trend TikTok. Huyo dem na yobo I think walikwenda kufungua YouTube channel. Right? Ya couple. Yeah, ya couple sasa. And then after um, after I'm finally interview ya ya nani ya ya Obina they actually went to some dude into a truth watch dog. Yeah, truth watch dog. Mm. Truth watch dog. Hata before mfike hapo. Kwa mse mwenye personally nime grow in um, Kandui, mm. Bungoma County. Mm-hmm. Wase wa like mamangu ni, ni mtu mwingine mweusi. Mm. Mtu mwingine mwenye ako na dini zingine na doctor zingine ana follow. Mm. Kando na za za kabila yangu ako na za church. Za church yeah. You get it. So ukijaribu kuelezea parent anatoka Bungoma kwamba kuna mtoto mwingine eh, kuna watoto wanakulana in their sisters and brothers. First thing yani in fact <laughs> akisikia tu akismell tu kuna hiyo issue. Mm-hmm. Kuna mtu mmoja anashikanishwa na ukuta mwingine amewekwa yeah. a few story like yeah. one time kuzo alikuja kwetu. Mm. Okay. <laughs> This is my story now. Yeah. Kuzali kuja kwetu. Mm. And then you know uko kwa hiyo age ya dole hapa na pale. Eh hiyo age uh, ya you are now you are being introduced to things. Uki, eh ukiingia nikienda kewa kidogo kuna maboys huko wanani eh wanaenda wananichukua kadeki wanani mwanza kumbao mbao. Eh hiyo design mm. like so wanani introduce kwa vitu vingi. Mm. Eh huko tukiwa huko mtoni kuna mademo akipiga lap anapeleka kwa miwa mm. so i got an opportunity anapeleka kwa miwa mbona anapeleka kwa miwa mimi nabaki kushika ngombe ah. wale maboys wanaopeleka so mi na watch your experience mm. you got it so ikawa kwamba kuzo yangu amekuja home so is my time to do this thing practical kuzo yangu amekamu and uh, <laughs> usi, usi cheke it sounds so ridiculous hii ni kitu mse yote amekuwa kifanya no si no, mimi peke yangu kuzo amekamu hatuna mm. nyumba mingi e, of course wamewaambia wa madem wanaweka tulale na wa mm-hmm. na wao mimi nimedanganya kuzo yangu dem nikamwambia onako walinifanyaje walini walinarudisha ingozi nyuma banjo visi mm. kuza aone na kumbe kuza yangu ni mtu sijui alikuwa ana, ni mtu ako anaingianga eh ana, ana uchingi nini zinaitwaje kama sutra mm, mtu ya ponhab eh ponhab basi ana ako fiti mm. anaelewa hii maneno kuza alikuwa amehangaa kuza alikuwa mkubwa kidogo alikuwa around 13 14 mimi mtu ya miaka 9 pale oya yeah. Amenishika hivi sa kidogo anajua ku kuipatia alert. Mm. <laughs> Na unajua ni kitu saa 5 ya usiku. Mm. Mbaya sana. Mkatumia. Ah, sasa sikia, si hii nyumba ni moja. Unajua hapo si, ndio ni realize age flani ya, ma, ya wazazi wakifika wanakuwa na time yao kuongea tu usiku. Mm. 
si eti hata wako mechi ama nini ni story tu so kumbe waja doze so madana sikia tu songa 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 hiyo design <laughs> na kwambie dey ni lala nje ha ha true demo aliacho ndani mimi nikalala nje but demo alikuwa mkubwa eh, exactly but uh, ulo in my favor boy child kweli nilipigwa oh, yeah. na baridi nje ni lala nje kwa varanda next day demo akaeka kwa ndudi apeleke kwa urasaf before na mlikuwa ameanza sasa hiyo ndio issue mlikuwa mjaguzisha hata alikuwa ameniambia msonge unajua demo anaelewa Wee. So hii ni kitu haiwezi make. Mm, mm. Literally kwa African home while we were growing up like yes it happened. Hata masaa yako akikuona tu unacheka cheka tu na sister yako ovyo ovyo na mspunk. Unaona sister na una sister yako. Jojo wapi ha? Job lakini mapa mspunk na kwanza mianzia. Sister yako. Me, unajua Jofri amefanya vizuri ame bring kwa society home. Yeah. Na nadhani kwa sasa kwa society home hata ndio mbaya because nadhani <laughs> that was the point when you go jaribu kusema. Because na nadhani tu kiwa home hata maadhi hawezi kukuruhusu kwenda sisi yako sana. Akiwa hapa anaosha ona mspanga. Wewe umekutana sufuria. You get it? Mimi ni moyo yangu. Ndio hata mimi liang kazini yangu. Kuzo. Bitso na tulipokea kwa hiyo boma. <laughs> Ilikuwa to hug like there's nothing happening. Nile mmekaa tu. Okay, tuko tumekaa. I don't know what was happening. I, I can't really get the exact way but but, 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 but makuzo kulana that is it. Na hapo ndo tunaelekea. Yeah. No, I guess we reach there. So we are going to your story. Si asibaki ati alimhug tu. Huyu ni mti yake ya ni partner. Endelea. <laughs> Umesema uligombanisha mbaya sana. As I was saying before jamaa, mimi chini nafanya na kazi yangu si same na wewe na sister yako. So, I squat ni nilikula sister yangu zi tema. Tema ya story. Mimi hata sijagrona. Hii baki tu hivi. Sijagrona sister yangu. Ni venye yeye mko tuna interview na sister yako mwende mtuambie. So, like um I think to make grow your society and hata kuguza tu mtu ama kumsalimia in a way that hata uh, hug unaweza pigwa uwawe because mimi kwa yangu karibu atuwe yeah. so when inafika guys are now willing to just claim anything online ndo apate clicks it becoming embarrassing it is embarrassing and i think i think society inafai jiangalie yenyewe why is it that nini watu tu um, misfits let me call them misfits yeah. why is that social misfits ama anti social people and when you wanna make it in social media kama tiktok you know we have people like inanyako yeah. former kama sex workers kuna ude mwingine wa huyo wa kuliani tonga sindi sindi wa kunyonga na mamia au ndio ma celebrity wenye wa kids are looking up to at this point but now uh, you, you know our say us how that they will grow up you get it but nyako si ame grow up a grow up up unajua sasa akili ya mwanamke ni tofauti na ya boys you get it ni kasa yo kule dogi mm. you get it yeah. Mfano ni kule dogi ni watu like like ni pikiwe okay dogi kupatia bend over that's what i'm trying to say then u grow okay <laughs> you know utakuwa mzee wa kijiji and at times people will need uh, advice from you yeah. so na then video yake na leak ukikula dogi you get it at that time no unapatia na advice unajua iwezi make sense anakwambia buda wewe ni mzee kwanza unafaa wende uedit tumesi yako ukiwa boy mdogo ya yeah, true get it mm. so kitu na try kusema ni uh, fem vile unasema and uh, one thing with the internet internet huwa ina welcome crazy people i did never forget pastor when you wanna be ukweli hawana likes yeah. you get it <laughs> wasi wanapiga content safi hawana likes au angalia mtu kama Isaac Mkenye anayapiganga content ya tari sana kitale anasema ona kitale kuna barabara mm-hmm. ona kitale kuna mvua hauwezi <laughs> pata watu wana like hizo vitu yeah. lakini one mbarambamba na pasta na pasta mikitume <laughs> by the way <laughs> Basta kitumbe 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 anapiga dai kwa moja safi sana. Sasa hivi atieso amnyandue. Eh. Wa Kenya pia. Kwa Kenya 
Kwa Kenya pia. Million. Kwa Kenya pia they are part of this thing. You get it. I think wa Kenya unaona the thing is uh, what what people nini kwa creators are creating ama what artists are doing ni reflection to your society. Yeah. Yes. Kwamba if people are now comfortable kwenda and start and create a lie about themselves kwamba mimi ni bro ya huyu and we are wazama wana data wa mwan wazama wana stay pamoja wako pamoja stay pamoja and they having sex so yeah wameko habit na hao ndio watu wanapata views and the fact that we've done interview bro like at co wana ko habit hiyo ni huishi na mtu mwenye mjawaya pamoja lakini red mna share right eh na kwa kwa kama dem yako wewe umai ko habit na mtu ah mimi msenimeoa bro hiyo ni no before wo eh uliai kwa habit ndio hiyo ndio kama stay eh hapa kama stay Okay. Na bona hata unahitaji kama usitai kama ni nyinyi mandugu. Si mnafaa tu mkoe remain we stay or something else. Ai sure. So, <coughs> you have a relationship ya ndoa ikiisha bado mtabaki bro na sis. Eh. Hey. Oh, sure. Mm. Mm. So, in the end of the day, kama watu wako willing to create lies about themselves. Na ikuishia hapo because the true this true ni yeah, social media theories. Haikuishia so hapo. Na the saddest part ni walipatiwa interviews mara kadhaa. Walipatiwa platforms mara kadhaa na hiyo ndio tunapropagate uh, such evil behaviors kwa society. Una una get? Waliaza na presenter hali, mimi sijui aliwaokota wapi, wakatoka hapo, wakaenda kwa Ogaobina. Waka declare mapenzi yao, wakatoka hapo hivyo, wakaenda kwa Truth Watch Dog. I think I think Don Pia hata hapa kama Dante's car host pia. Hata mm. agree with us pia media Mm-hmm. Media na changia 100%. And I remember I very well hata wewe uliwahi make that post. Because if you see kama kuna wase wenye tuna tuna follow African doctrine zetu, mila na desturi zetu, religion and all those. Ukikuja ukipata mse anakuwa approach na deal, na na tabia fulani yenye wewe kama media station, ume grow up knowing that mwanamke Mm, mtu anafaa iname akifanya vitu fulani mwanaume anafanya hivi. Hakuna siku mwanaume anafaa mon. You get it. Unajua vizuri kama media. Mm. Mm. Eh. Mm. So uwezi allow such interviews number one mm. to end this thing. Yeah. Lazima wase wa media wa wa wa, wa work na ethics. Yeah, ethics. Mm. Work ethics mm. whereby they don't allow interviews that goes against the uh, moral society. Yeah, mo- moral, uh, mor- mm. moral society. Mm. And then that is an, a good way ya kuwa hizi vitu. Mm-hmm. But the way they are entertaining it hata kuna uli, kuna video fulani mjama fulani alitoka na naspank mama yake. I saw that. By the way, mama yeah. 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 I saw that video. Why would you I do saw. that? Why? <laughs> That's very bad. Not any sexist. What, like if I if I if I if I was just walking around there <laughs> and um na dem tu. Like madam director over here. Alafu ni Ura jana ndani soup. Yeah, of course. Someone you, 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 you for touching the media. Yeah, sexual harassment. Mm. How do you do that to your mother? I love you chapia. Mother tuliwahi kuwa na yeye na eye contact ika last ka one minute alinipiga kibao. Alikuwa ameana mtu. Ndio. Ndani kumwangalia tu. Ni kumwangalia. Ni kumwangalia contact tu. Oh my no. Akadani rada. So so mi budangu ilikuwa mkienda mkaji koni sana like now sisi tulizaliwa four boys. Muda alikuwa akikuja tunaenda kana sitting room. Wewe kaa jikoni. Of course mimi nilikuwa nanga jikoni kwa sababu kaa jikoni unajiwanga sana gani imejaa alafu unajua ukipeleka kwa meza unajua venye uta position una get. Ama so, unaleta zingine ile ya mingi uta, utakuja nayo kikaa. Eh hey, utakuja nayo ya mwisho. Utakuja nayo kikaa. <laughs> so muda alikuwa like wanaume mnakaa na wanaume. But penye tumefika penye tumefika there are no limits we are just too free na and then the another thing side to journalism because you journalism ni nini because everyone is just trying to create news everyone is just trying to become relevant everyone is just trying to eat ikitoa <laughs> yake license mimi nadhani watu ya maybe maybe pia hiyo itasaidia au pia the tax that the president had alikuwa na though it was implemented i think 3% no wait no wait ah unajua unajua nini let me tell you mimi nadhani in any field there must be at least kitu ya kufilter out the rest una get you must achieve some quality for you to gain this. yeah of course mm. because ukuja kuangalia sasa hizi tume tan kwa ile society yenye you don't care the morals yani haujali chemtu wanafanya 
what's important ni wewe watu wangapi wataona view ama sijui ni kwa sababu ya capitalism so watu tuna tend to kuangalia how much we will get out of this Mm, yeah, it's about the money. And you know uh, yeah, and you know again pia hata tukitoa the money pia nadhani bado pia kuna bad parenthood. For instance kama sasa hiyo uh, tumesema hiyo issue ya mtoi kuspank mama yake. Don't you think pia huyo ni mama mwenye pengine because before he could end out maybe even this child has been. Do you know me personally sijawahi ku hug my mama mama fani. No, yeah, not because it simpendi ama ni but sijawahi kukuwa na hiyo tujawahi kwa hivyo close sana ati yenye ninaweza nika okay hiyo ina ha- ina happen ya msa amekaa tu home na mama yake ajaye na Nairobi you get it huyu ni msa ameshinda na mama yake home kiba the entire life so haezi miss bana no 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 unajua haezi miss mama yake bana no no not like that mm. eh I, i miss her na kila kitu lakini unaona okay i just want to say i miss her like eh ah okay the yani i just don't want to miss the point because my point is uh sidhani yani unafaa kwa hivyo close sana na mama yako to an extent that you can do such jokes because again pia unaangalia reaction ya mama after umekuwa spanked how are you reacting to that action na i i do the video mama respond and no it was just okay with her what yeah for real hata unapata wengine in fact i even saw a video that a son was kissing the mother and it was deep kiss see it nini and it was out there kenya on TikTok and no no haku kwa kenya no but ndio white people okay. wana kiss but the deep kiss unajua kuna ile pe kuna nini but kuna vitu zina relate you see <laughs> you know wewe ni mzae wa bomo na kujua unapata boy yako ana kiss wife yako Yeah. It's kwa hiyo design. Okay? Kuna baribika. Toto mezaa, right? Ana kiss wife yako. Ambaye ni mama yake bado. Hapo things so, go oh, bad. So, huyu jamani unamuuliza bro ni aje? Eh, tu ni aje. Oh, okay, huyu manzi ni wetu ama? <laughs> you know, <laughs> lazima mkone itembee, you get it. And of which hiyo inaenda na parental guidance pia. Yeah, And uh, you agree with me wa mama wengi? kulea watoto na especially boy child. Mm. Boy is lelewa na, na na single mother. Me I know that. Hata <laughs> huyu jamani product ya mzae na mzae. That's why mzae ndio na wewe. Si unajaribu kutuambia nini jo? Ani ni msee amelelewa na baba yake. You get it. Oh. Mm-hmm. Kwani ulikuwa unadhani ni mzae na mzae mimi I'm like wow do you want to claim my dad is gay? No 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 no. no. Why why? <laughs> you are thinking loud. <laughs> okay. So ako hivi but huyu angekuwa amelelewa na masa peke yake ingekuwa namkuza anasema ai you know it's such a yeah, funny thing. Reaction. Angekuwa msimu mwingine msoft so. vibaya kitu kidogo anaanza kulia you know. Eh yeah. lakini mamangu si msoft hivyo. Where? Z my mother is like a literal terrorist. Angekupiga tu sawa. Kwa hiyo ongea wabaya unaweza pigwa after hapa we. Anakiwa hivi bado mama hata anakupiga. Hata na mtu mnaona TikTok kwa hiyo. Waacha jokes. Si kudanganya unaona. Wewe cheki masaka anakupiga ukiwa hivi no me over. Mbaya sana. Naona kubali. Tuona hata apiga hapa one event atoka hapa ndio. Madangu ni nonsense. So wewe we, umefika home mama aka amekuambia lala chini don. Wacha nikwambie mimi if I go to late saizi ni nienda nyumbani kwa mfano ifike saizi niko kwangu but then if I visited my mom then ifike 6:30 anioni. Of course saizi inaweza chelewa kidogo lakini I have to uh, notify her that niko na chelewa. Mbona ataniuliza hapa ni kwako? Mimi amai niuliza wewe ndio ulinioa ma baba yako. So while single mothers kuna wale So wewe akikuuliza hivyo unamwambia ni babangu alikuwa ama unanyamaza. Alafu niende wapi ni issue wapi? Okay. We, 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 we. Me my mother was him to kujia hivyo juu ya two people are spanking their mothers out there, two people are deep kissing their mothers. I don't know. But hii inapenda tu na watoto wa kuanzia 2000 kusonga huko juu. Me I don't think think watoto wa 90 za kabla kaa hizo. Ah, no. Our social media kids wa TikTok juu na watu. Au ndio watoto wa sawa. Mm. So me my generation sisi ni watu tulikula chumvi, we don't spank mothers or sisters, we don't want to sleep with the cousins. Okay. And and that's how it should be. Okay. It, that's how it should be. Nadhani we should be so much strict. Na unajua the problem is that Our parents wa watoto ni watu wenye sasa maybe wamezaliwa 1990s na ni, now that's the sad past. No but the mother kwa mfano kama ikis ya uh, these two two idiots wenye walienda ku claim uh, ni siblings. Yeah. The mother of the, of the lady ndiye alikama watu akasema uh, that boy see ndugu yake 
and tumekataza umsana kufanya hizo vitu in fact anaharibu jina ya familia the mother came out and said so it was just for social media it was for clout for clicks you only for clout mm, yes, people yes. don't care yeah. na mimi nimeshakwambia mm-hmm. if being a sex worker imefanya nyako ni celebrity mm-hmm. if being a sex worker imefanya huu mgeni ndo anasindwa mimi nifanwa sindi nini hiyo sindu ni nice unajua vile <laughs> demo anakuanga ameweza umaini wa video sindi ya umaini wa video ya kunyonga like sasa kana naezaje kupigia story si elewi bro <laughs> like ana kwa mtu si ana kwanga ameposta hata picha zingine kaja amevaa tu nguo. Kwa kwani mtu mrembo lazima atoe nguo. Oh. No, but mimi nikimjua Cindy sasa alikuwa anauza mia mia. Eh, hey, videos mia. But uh, trust me hapo anauza that way. Alikuwa anataka attention. No. There's a time I think last year kumekuwa na mademu wengi sana wa kuuza nini videos za mia. Nyonga na mia. Kulikuwa mpaka na mbukusu fulani kutoka Chuel. Serious? Eh, demo. Nyonga niko na mia. Ni kama hiyo ndio period yenye mambo ile escalate eh, mpaka ikaenda parliament. Wakakuwa waka wanasema wana, wana threaten kufunga TikTok. <laughs> Ilikuwa ukifika masaa 5 ya usiku hapo hivyo. Everyone is trying to sell ni sex on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Ada size bado ina happen because me actually saw someone on live sleeping with someone having sex with someone at your live TikTok. Yes. What the fuck? Mimi na wanga wana wana block your accounts and most of the accounts is na block ni based on hate not based on immoral behavior because watu wenyako na immoral behavior kama kina nyako and I'm sorry to say it kina chira. These people have survived for so long and yet all they have done is to derail morals of society. So, unasema hao ni wasoni ndanga tu against the policy ya TikTok. Against the policy, mara mtu anataka kutoa nguo. They are always doing the opposite of what they should do. Not even just policies at TikTok, but moral to the society. There is no need ya kuingia online kutuhana watu, sama na online na kwa uchi, sijui nani anauza videos wapi. Mtu anaanza tu kusema nauza paka, nauza paka. Hey, na tusiongee kuhusu nani? This lady anaitwa nani? Sijui Alicia kanini ama nani? Hey, this one. Huyu wajuzi huyu. Eh, huyu wajuzi. Mwenye ya yeah, Alicia kanini? Yeah, I guess mm. that's the name. Na unajua kanini alikuwa ibongoma? Ha? Yeah. Hapo na. Hii ni tabia alianzia tukibaki. Oh. Mimi na ishiki babu wewe. Alikuwa student huko by the way. Si. Kani alikuwa ita. Unakumbuka time ya somia majirani. Mm, mm, mm. That's 2013, 2014. Mm. Piga kazi safi sana hapa ndani hapa studio. Majirani tukamuita interview. Mm. Kwa na dada na kwa nafurahisha majirani. Hii ni kazi ya mwanza kitambo. No, but kanini wa huko I don't think ni the same one. Huo ni mnazi mdogo sana. <laughs> Woja uliza alikuwa anafanya. Alikuwa ana. Wona alikuwa university ya. Ah. Akiwa tu student alikuwa anafanya hizo vitu. Tu mtoto tu akiwa primary secondary. Brother. <laughs> Waswahili wakisema mti ukunje ukiwa ungali mdogo mbichi mm. kwani wanamaanisha. So hii tabia ni kitu aligrow nayo tu over time, si ndio? So hiyo inaonesha tu how the system has failed and how social media is creating a different environment for people to express themselves without limitations. Ukienda TikTok you can basically be anyone. Unadhani ukakuwa pastor, people are selling medicine on TikTok, people are selling sex on TikTok, you know. Once anyone agrees to do something that goes against the community policies or standards mm. and allows a camera to be on that is a person who wants attention, attention. and of which is a hundred percent are all over wana siyasa ndi walianzisha mambo ya kupeana vitu kama umefungua camera saa hii sasa pia watu wanaamua kutafuta hiyo that direction and we will go back if you do the right thing Nobody cares. with the, the right thing the right content in, in fact i can tell you w- Have you ever come across a content that you feel like people should listen and watch? Mm. And then you realize that there is nobody who give a fuck about it. I come across it. my own content all the time na views zangu 15. And lakini wewe unaonanga ni kali sana. Unaonanga ni kwa Atlanta but nobody cares about me everybody is out there ni ni watching kanini and everyone else trying to sell sex online. And then I go enda huko ona video ya pasta katumbe. <laughs> Kenya ame post pale mtandao. He is clicking millions of views. 5 minutes ago wave 100 and something. Alaini si walimshika wakamtetea tetea na haja hata bado. Eh yani we are just trying to say before. Mm. In fact like a, a, a YouTube channel like the one that we are hosting this show. Mm. It has a lot of uh, culture stories telling the people everything they should know mm. and those stories that they have forgotten story that matter the matters the community mm. zenye zinafunza watoto and all that but you realize channel haina subscribers 
people are watching less, people are sharing less. But the, stu the stupid stories that they don't make sense at all, people are there, a lot of them. I don't know, I don't know. I think, I think time, time has come. And, that we should, um, yeah. We need to start in creating. We should then, step up. For you, you saw, you saw a video from Uganda that the 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 presenter was asking a gay, mm. "Are you gay?" Yeah, yeah and the video. Who is a gay? <laughs> Such a thing. Mm. That thing, in fact, you should not discuss anything to do with the LGBTQ on any in African TV station, because we don't want it. <laughs> so, but then immediately they introduce that topic in a, a, a national TV. Everybody is eager to watch. People, you know, what I've noticed about Kini Maubiri, what I've noticed about uh, people, and I think in human nature, mm -hmm. they are that people are embarrassed to show people about themselves. You know, they are younger, you know, become masturbating, but they actively do it several times a day. Come and me language in their own privacy. Slowly, you can morals, people start revealing these things. Yeah. So, what she does, and I'm TikTok, and I think that in Giza, Nini, Manguela, I'm a director of the content, you can have the actual content. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And the government is not even doing anything. Don't mention that uh, the first lady, I'm a cock and buy a son, and the president, I'm a cock and buy a son. And we are out here selling pornography, and nobody cares. Mm. And that's very sad. That's very sad, especially with the yeah. point that you said to any aondo semeaje, aondo any watoto na waiga. Because someone am to come anyako kia ujaribu kuangalia social influence anyako na maybe pia financial na nini. Ono na pia mtoto anataka tu awe kama anyako. That is that, uh, by the way, it's a funny thing. I ever ask my 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 girlfriend sometime. Comes um, by the nanu who motivate. Oh, oh, we were just having a story. Na na na, the air they only motivate. Um, I'm like, okay, I'm with you. We are in a relationship. We are planning goals, and then you have a a a, a role model who is single. When you're Baby mama, single mothers. Uh, I, I asked in, in which way? Yeah. In which way? She's like, Ati Anajiongelelea. You see, women always think Kwamba Muntu. <laughs> yeah, it's a feminism. Toxic feminism. feminism. Toxic feminism. <laughs> Where anything, and you know, go against social, <clears throat> social rules, and you know, women tend to think in a favor of men. They fight against it. But sometimes while fighting against it, who wanna go overboard? So, for instance, Mutu Akenza could claim that Mutu Kama Beyonce, Aki Piga, Aki Vaa, Uchi, Nini, Ati, Ati, self-expression. You are expressing yourself, yes. But then, do you have to express yourself with your breasts? Out. Yeah. Men don't go around wagging dicks. Yeah. Who is that? <laughs> to, to express ourselves? We just hey, communicate. we don't. I've never gone around with my dick, Niki Zunguka, too, slapping people, Barabara, Nini. I'm a dude, I'm a dude. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You know, we have to be we have to be serious. Now, sometimes we'll take on goals that are part of equality. To not derail, not derail. Do that. 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 And installed now, he became a yeah. uh, boy child thing. Yeah. Now, women now, when you go to Kupata, when you ask if it is Andrew Kibe, they want to talk because they knew that in in the bombing in the Tanzania, we we need to be uncontrollable. Like you know, when you don't go ask, you want to say, "Hmm, maybe this is the way to get straight." And the boy money and the watch and the kid, he and red flag. Eh, and red flag, and the boy money and the watch and the kid and red flag. Me, and we were just being empowered. You know, we needed someone to give to empower us. Of course. But me, as I talk, I could disagree on something about Kibe. Kibe actually has spoken for men. The only problem is Kibe is like a terrorist, like Osama bin Laden. While Osama was 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 talking in support of Islam. He wasn't really doing it the Islamic way. So the same way Kibe may be fighting for, not really fighting for Boita because he's just another capitalist trying to capitalist. Before Marise, Atan and Rukibe Pia knew the league, you know? Ha! For real? Na alikuwa pasta Pia. Alikuwa pasta Pia. And then, 
We know a friend of Kibes Manyara. Who's gonna do our new? Some do the town. The are we bala. Hey, we bala. Ati e ati alko du chief sponsor. Why you can't answer? Hey, they alkonga na fund the chief. Isn't there some of things that Fanya and Rukibe akondokea? akaondokea mambo na dini na kiraki hata hizo vitu zake ni kama hata hizo hizo nude kulik ni mwanamke ali, ali <laughs> alikuwa involved because ukicheki hiyo ni kitambo kiasi so hiyo ndio some of the things limfanya akakuwa bitter man hiyo ni kitambo but then point is the social media world now is creating platform for um, misfits misfits ni wale watu wenye hawafit kwa society i think tumefika place yenye society society na embrace misfits more than people actually doing something and you gonna social good so ukienda online and then you start saying things that are immoral sasa watu wanaku follow and online ni sema wewe ni gay i'm not even i'm not even talking about whether i'm supporting gays or not but then the fact is we in africa and being homosexual in kenya is frowned upon so whether it's acceptable watu wanasema umejikubali <laughs> like yani ukisema ati mimi ni eh, but yes hiyo issue ya kujikubali what are the activists what what is happening sasa hivi na inapen hadi na na hizo story za za nini za mapoko kwenda online kujikubali and telling their stories yeah. in fact it is also ina imeanza ku make sense mpaka wase unadhani ukimu ni kitu fit sana eh hey, like being a honey fit leo ni mwana mwingine akiongea kuhusu venye alienda diani then sijui kuna wazungu ni nini <laughs> na hiyo story ya wewe dem ni mbukusu By the way, na hiyo 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 anatoka misiho. <laughs> na Jovri ni kama uko na details za kwa bukusu karibu wote. Bana that's being a bukusu is my business. <laughs> And in fact when you Ni kama uko na sense of style sana. Watu watabia mbaya na wajua. Anataka mtu atabia mbaya. Watu watabia mbaya wanatoka hili jo. Eh bana inafaa mjue mnaangalisha mheshimiwa. Hivi vitu mtanifanya nianguke kura. Kama 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 Didma sanapitanga kura baba. Ona ya kona ah okay. Kama Didma sanapitanga kura, I think wa Kenya pia wanapenda to misfits. Sawa. We just prove the point kwamba if you are not if you are a bad guy, people love you. People love you more. Hata pia mimi ndemo maeni ambia vuta bangi ukam. I want to see a bad man in you. Vuta bangi ni kuwa mtu mbaya. Siani vile amelelewa ni msewa church. So oh. anadhani uziki nice utakuwa sijuta. Utanoa vuta bangi wewe. Utatumba. Nikamwambia niko na best yangu hata ukuja hapa daily na anavutanga na akwangi mcrazy. Mm. Ati ah simwamini sijui ni wewe vuta ukam. <laughs> So thing is sasa tuna tuna tokea na watu wenye watu wenye wana adabu. Mm. Yes. Na why la ulin want the new wa regulate sana TikTok na social media. Penye imefika itabidi. And imeanza kuwa distracting kwa society. Not just in terms of morality, talent wise, people with no talent are becoming too popular, too powerful compared to other people. No yes. Now if you are a good musician angalia you know Tyler Brown nobody cares. Will Paul has to pretend he is sleeping with someone so that ngoma is song. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because if you don't Kenya don't even want to hear the music. They just want to hear your scandal. Scandal stories, controversial yes. stories and stuff. Yes. And that is how tunajipata kwa history ya ya watu kuingia tu online na ku declare venye yao ni malaya, ku declare venye sijua ni ndangu ni wao. And you know and, and you know another thing that's very bad ama you ni sema weird. People are even uh, willing to go to an extent that are wengine kufanya surgery especially with these women. To just make sure yani wanaka vizuri kwa social media because uh, I again saw another one. Um She's a Kenyan. I want to believe maybe kama she's not a Kenyan maybe a Tanzanian because alikuwa anaonge Kiswahili. Na ukiangalia picha yake picha yake ya previous mbona na simu wa ganda aonge Kiswahili. No the accent na na Kiswahili kwa bit inaeleweka. So so huyu ni eh Eh, alikuwa okay alikuwa anafanywa interview na ni time yenyewe ni kama amesha ku change skin na sijui alifanya skin grafting or some yeah so ameibadilika ame kwa mope while previously alikuwa mweusi so wakakuwa anamuuliza the reason yeah, kitukama hiyo ya hapa ni ya vera si ndio sasa ni ya back yeah what a group vera silika she was black yeah. and then mm. and now for this one specifically alikuwa anasema wajua alimuuliza what was the reason akasema yani main point yake alikuwa anasema yeye initially alikuwa akipost picha yake Facebook apati likes. Pala tu likes 2 3 na nini. Lakini size tangu ni fanyo screen skin grafting. Mimi ni muope hivi. 
uh, pictures zinatembea sana so you can see oh, no, oh, point of correction how can i skin grafting hiyo ni bleaching okay hiyo ni mtu aliweka tu jiki kwa ngozi ngozi ikakuwa smooth ikakuwa white so ikali mgali ali bleach ali bleach tu mm. kwa kwa niaba yangu mm. na wale wa bukusu wenzangu mm. grafting ni nini grafting kama tu wenyewe wewe unaona mtu anapanda matunda eh, work with example, the skin yeah, yeah, with the skin i'm using because we, 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 kama mtu ya chuele mm-hmm. unajua matunda yenyewe yanapandwa mm-hmm. grafting is planting something on top of another so skin grafting ile wanatoanga skin hapa wanakuwekea hapa kwa mfano kama ulikuwa na injury wana can... one piece, oh, wana kwa mfano wakati ni nile ya Yes, si ni yo ni medical. Yes. Si ni skin. Yeah, surgery in fact. Mm. That's a surgery. Surgery. Hii ya madem wana meza tu nasikia pia kuna tembe. Kuna matembe. Yaani that procedures wa masana wanafanya huko nje. And it will kill them with time. Oh. Watakufa vibaya. Si kudanganya. They will die. With time even ni risky and they are doing kufurahisha watu wenye hawajui that is the most sad part wewe ume bleach sura ndio upate like social media from people you don't know so mm-hmm. lakini msema ati that thing is an investment yeah. somebody could kufanya hizo vitu zote wewe sasa it is an investment wewe umeona nani njoki munene penye yako anaride dubai ako sai dubai munira maitwa nani eh something you msiano bana ako dubai brother wewe una investment It is an investment. Imagine. Where we when data to say you are my data Uganda. Nilikuwa 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 nilienda Uganda kanda hiyo parking kwa boda tu. Tulikuwa na wewe lakini. Wewe ndio nilipeleka. Bas. Unaona rabu hapo. Hata si ni kama tu Kenya tu tulikuwa tu bado tunanusa viti ya Kenya. Sasa imagine ya Haga imempeleka Dubai. The power and and kwa sababu amefanya hiyo vitu mnasema. So it's an investment as much as they are posting they are wanna take out but do you encourage it you invest you encourage if your daughter decided to nitaka kwenda kuongeza matako ni mfurisha wa baba because huko mbele pia tunaenda kwa wazazi leave away leave away me encouraging my girlfriend mwenyewe doing things uh. that are very funny uh, even i ask her okay let me ask you okay mimi nilikukatia vile nakujua hizi mm. additional mingi zenye uko nazo ni wapi unaenda mm. lakini unajua cho free hapa tuko kwa media na utafanya tu to ignite maswali zingine are you trying to say nikiza kanji kuna venye ana mnasumbuana kuna mambo mambo yanafanya ama sina nini you know uh, no, no, i'm just trying to say <laughs> something uh, I'm, I, i i i take it back pale mwanzo okay. when i was dating oh, well, oh. when now i'm single so you, do, you don't have to ask that uh, no. but i was trying to say that those are some of the questions <laughs> that i used to ask uh-huh. so I, she so she used to be doing those kind of things alikuwa na admire the the the, 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 the is a kind of life let me tell you something <laughs> very very <laughs> bad na wewe tujibie tu sababu ya kwa eh yani kwa mfano aongeze vitu zenye mimi mwenyewe I'm, I'm, I'm seeing them as no, are not necessary mm. kwa mfano mkwe kwa nyumba mko na mashida kukunya chai na maandazi ni kama luxury mm. you, see, you say it's not important <laughs> yes. why maandazi kwa nini <laughs> that it, it sounds like luxury you know uh-huh. so there are things that a woman can do you ask her you already married Oh, why are you walking without panty everywhere in the why house? Why being naked? Why are you being naked? Mm. In the house? Yeah, like you are just trying to uh, you can wear something on top and then inside nothing. You know? Unaenda kwa maduka kufanya hizo shughuli. What's wrong with you? Ndio kutembea kwa mando. What's wrong? Like you have to ask just having a concern kwamba if you are in a relationship. So everyone has a different motive for whatever reason. Unataka tembea huko nje tu? Okay. But that, that is what the women does. No, you cannot say the women because now tunaenda kujipata na backlash nyingine mingi sana. No, we have to no, be clear no, about that. No, we have to be. Wewe ningekwambia uulize Miss Director hapa ataka ako nayo. Hao watu wavai. Trust me. <laughs> That's why there is a certain position that you never find a woman anaka. Mm. Because all of them brother wana wakikwambia wana, nasikia baridi. Trust me nikutokea chini na juu. <laughs> So um you have to agree first before you move. Say yes. 
I cannot agree. So these are the, some of the things that these people are willing to do for the but sake it's of true. fame, mm-hmm. club. Yeah, because, yeah, because, because someone else would say maybe Nisipova in a band, yeah. the body to shake Bizuri. Fame na vile wana dance to Nisipova. No band. What is that? Hata wa mademu wana shake kwa 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 TikTok every time. For them to have to have that attraction. Yeah. Kuna kuna haga zingine ni steam. Yeah. Uh-huh. So inabidi ya asi. Eh, lazima it. sasa I assume ni ngumu. Eh eh. Ni ngumu na tena imevalishwa pad. Mhm. Kumaanisha it can. I always move. So for something easy to do it nikutoa nikutoa ajaribu kutingiza akiona tena haiwezi na anamwagia maji you, you always see that eh wanamwaga maji eh anamwaga maji so that in a role of like mm. the women that's crazy things some some women in oh, fact yes. if you want to know that is so funny mm. leo sinani manzi wa wa Mombasa ameatend matanga ya mzee mzee mzima mwenye no manzi wa kibera kibera Nika kibera siku na flats alihama yeah. alihama alitokea Mombasa niliona hivi tu angalia tumbili vitu tumbili anafanya wallahi siku hizi kwanza ana bus juu tumbili i spoke about tumbili the other time i think it was quite a plan mm-hmm. and tumbili is the yet an example ya watu tunaongelea kuhusu social media tumbili just an example of people trying to do everything possible tumbili is like a 40 year old guy trying to fit in a world of 20 year old people. Sawa? Ni kama baba ya mtu anacheza via koko. Tumbili ata mwang. Tumbili ataka kwa North Rift akuje Bungoma. Unajua na ameishi Bungoma na bibi wata akuje. Sawa. Tumbili kama. Now. This is the point. Mhm. Um speaking of your issue anani ya ya manzi wa Kibera na mzee wake. And then again it falls to, uh, to the idea ya watu fanya anything for cloud. I'm sure mzee manzi wa Kibera na huyo mzee hapo hiyo wana. Hapo yeah. But see the saddest part the old guy is actually dead for real not for content. But when you read the story they actually create so that if I come manzi wa Kibera na umia. Umia. I know what the worst part. Walivaa t-shirt ya kampuni gani? There is something on corner market. Jaka wakienda kwa kuview board. Wakitoa kuview board, yeah, Tumbili alikuwa ameka usitaje jina yenyewe. We are not doing marketing for companies which are encouraging nini morality hapa hivi. Wameka wameka hapo lower third hiyo kampuni ya brand. Ya brand. Alafu pia manzi wa Kibera amevaa brand hapa hivi. And then she's pretending to be crying. Why would you capitalize on the poor old man's death? Seeing that Umza akiwa high, they still exploited him for clicks. Where are we going to? there possibility hata mzaja ai benefit anything sasa na wale benefit ni the old man died poverty liwa eh out of two gonjo kwa sababu anasema alikuwa that's the mom za ninja inaweza kuwa ya inaweza kuwa ninja it is it might be inaweza kuwa ninja mm but it's unfair where we are going to sababu ya social media it's unfair hata wasichana wenye wana date wazungu ndio mimi niko na shida na wao wasichana wenye wana date wazungu wao sanikuulize mimi as someone who who sio wale wazungu vijana wazee unafikiri ni anga wazee wagani wazee vijana ndio wanapanga wame wana wanaoko na nafasi ya kuachilia laana wale wazee wenye wanakuja ku date wasana wetu hapa hivi these are old men wenye maisha yamewashinda in europe these are people wenye wame divorce kama la 17 people in the 70s they are here taking over our young women and because our young women wameamua kuwa capitalists and invest in their assets au sikuizi ukiwa tu online unasikia natafuta mzungu sijui nilikuwa na mzungu sijui nini As a young married man sometimes i feel insecure nikiona demu yangu hata social media sasa hivi hata siangalii text messages nataka kujua wewe ana search nini online because we naweza kuwa nataka mzungu it could be some old dude in fact i went through my girlfriend's phone and i see her on an you are ex oh yes my ex girls yani i'm just trying to be general because i'm a man of women so i'm trying to say you see you have a woman in the house na ko kwa tinda Mm. That's very bad. Hiyo ni red flag moja cha si hiyo si red flag. Hiyo hiyo ni evidence. Yaani ime vikamisho. Red flag ni clue. Unaona ni clue. Hiyo ni clue. Hiyo ni evidence. Why am I sitting here in person na uko on Tinder looking for someone? Na unajua wengine ukimuuliza unatafuta nini Tinder atakwambia that I'm just looking for friends. I guess wana eh ni pale tu ni friends. Umaliza Facebook, umaliza na friends wa Facebook, wote umaliza na TikTok, now you are doing Tinder friends. Wao uliambia wao uliamini. Wewe ndiye na mama. Alafu anakuambia uko serious na hiyo relationship. Na una shuka aliamini na aliambiwa hivyo. Eh unajua ndio unamjua pekee. No wewe sasa wewe na uta tumesema hiyo example ya mtu kushuku ni Mimi nguma ndio. Mimi sijakuwa na mtu nikapata akiwatinda. I am just explaining kwa context ya my my brother. 
Huh? The women we are dating out here. The young women, not, not women, the young women, and it's all due to toxic feminism. Yeah. Everyone is trying to make it. Let me Even if she's with you, but she's trying to make it hey. on her own. Akutoke, bro. Ataka akutoke. We ni kama una future. Yani ukona mtu, lakini anachezi dream zingine tofauti sa. I don't know which of him is That's very bad, and I'm feel so sorry for you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just trying to. You know me. Yeah, we understand. Right? Me. Yeah, me. Yeah, we understand. Right? Yeah, we understand. 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 Yeah, but if you meet us at home, we are mourning. We are bad. Even don't ask me what I want to do. I chose to come as a maki. We are here to enjoy the comedy. Mutu of five corners. So, uh, guys, what do you think about this? Uh, well, nini ni umeona? It's so weird. The nyemtu ame ifanya just for the sake of clout, ama clicks, because there are a lot of things. Nyata to kisema tu ongelesi than it tamaliza. And in fact, uh, you remind me of the story of Mtumishi. Coming up, blaming Mamaake all over because okay, he, he feels he like he disowned Mamaake. Hey, yeah, you remember not your time? Not because he was emotional, but he, just he, for clicks. He wanted mm. to yeah, trend. So, guys, you can see how wide your field is on Vitungapi what we are And now the question remains: uh, Where were you willing to do them? Or the question will remain: How we are in the society, Nayanda? Because if we don't stand up for ourselves, Sidani ata watatowe tu kama watai kuwa moral at any point, and that's very sad. Uh, maybe before we close the show, Nabali, do you have anything to tell these people? Maybe an advice or just a directive? Me, I won't advise anyone, but I'll just speak. Me as a man, as a young man, and I will repeat: newly married young man. Buda check is key. Okay, I'm also meoa. Who no say to meoa, brother? I'm like, why do you have to think that getting married is an achievement? Do you know how many times I've gotten married? Me personally. Oh, na ringa rona wanga kina nani? Osa kama una una. Okay, kama wakwanza kwa na shida, mbona wapiri kwa na shida? Mbona watatu? And now don't talk about that. <laughs> so, <laughs> as we were saying before our enemies of progress were come up, as a young man living with a young lady, let me say that before what when you are jao, what you are kunyonga on kuji apa. Sometimes I feel threatened because of social media. <laughs> and it's an experience that most men are going through. Looking on your phone, or rather looking at your phone, or someone else's phone, and seeing your girlfriend, I'm a woman, living a life when you know how easy afford, I'm emulating people when you know the misfits. You start seeing red flags in my sometimes. And for me, Mimi wana, I try to talk about it, I try to put it in conversations, mara mingi, kwamba, eh, wewe 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 Ama na mwenkaji at least kuangalia vitu zenye ziko constructive. But wewe ndio naamulianga mama wako vitu anaangalia. No, simwamuli. Mm-hmm. Simwamuli. What I'm saying ni I feel threatened. Yeah. Insecure. Let me let me the word insecure. Just by the presence of social media sometimes and that is because of what inakuwa propagated kwa social media size, the morality inakuwa encouraged. So in the end of the day, I think as a society we need to look uh, deep into our own selves and see where we're going to. Whether the laws that are created to limit what uh, the mutual has a share, mm-hmm. whether the laws and the zikos that are implemented, I don't know what will happen, but it's a sad state of affairs. That is all I can say. Tiny, anything for these dudes? Yeah, me, I feel like everything and every policy and anything that happens, especially to our beloved country, Kenya, uh, the, the people in authority, people in power, they should value the the african culture i'm talking about politicians yeah. you know and whatever politicians can decide it will be implemented so if politicians can come up with a good strategy whereby they they can uh, pass out uh, rules and laws to put them in, in to implement it, like to be to be part of the law of this country whereby media should not be uh, be the ones that they are the media and your yeah yeah and you wanna sell out it to be buyer son and then they should give out a law whereby if you 
ukipatikana kwamba wewe unafanya kitu fulani you are using vulgar languages you are promoting uh, something that our gone fathers yes. mm. you will say charge with this and this i think we will have less people who will do if if kinudia anava kama mwanamke and the other women wana impress and he makes videos with his mother mm-hmm. this is wrong Inafaa hata wazazi waambiwe mtoto wako akianza kufuata mvulana mwenzake wewe kama mzazi mnaekwa ndani. It will be a good thing for both of us. And then people should consume content that is relevant with the community. They should start promoting content yenye at least ni good for consumption of the age na vitu kama hizo. Because if you allow a kid uh, restriction in fact hata hii ni vitu tu ndio nasema government ikikama up iseme google inafai funguliwe with this direction with this direction it will be better those laws are already there bro tiktok silishafunguliwa ofisi ya nini ya ya ku monitor whatever is happening in this post. country yes uh-huh. tiktok has an office in kenya to regulate what is happening the, on the platform uh-huh. so it's not even about creating the laws it's about implementing the laws what we are cyber security yeah. wanafaa wache collect hongo and wanze fanya kazi yao. Yes. Mm. Because people are using the language that everyone anaelewa. Yeah. Mtu anakuja tu kwa mtandao anasema kitu, the president data akipewa askiza anajua ni nini wanamaanisha and they yet they leave it. Other politician use it as a joke when they are addressing the people. So you it it, it comes to be a normal thing for everyone. Na wanasahau kwamba watu wanazaa kama wenye wameoa like this young man anazaa mtoto, mtoto wake atakuja apate kuuza paka is a normal thing yeah. and then they start using it wakicheza tu huko nje so i think that is something that we, they should work on it and it will be a good thing for for the upcoming generation yeah. but in the meantime let kenyans please try as you can if you see a bad content and you feel like it's not good for the community avoid it mm-hmm. be the one to report it because if they report it or 50 people report something then it will not be there and consume content kama za huyu kijana zenye anapiga tu manduru that are, seems like they are good for the community advise watu mambo na accounts ku save pesa na vitu kama hizo it will be nice <laughs> it will be a very good thing so <clears throat> guys uh, personally i don't think i have anything to add on top of what nabali and chofri has said uh, because they have exhausted everything so mina dani too what i can tell you guys is that just like they say charity begins at home uh how security wana semange inaanza na wewe i will just reinstate that that wewe pia penye huko just make sure hata hizi morals zinaanza na wewe zinaanza kwa familia yako just make sure watu unayaka nao around you try to impact some moral in them ukiona mtu ana go astray bring them close jaribu ku ku, ku reason with them and i think <coughs> In a short while tutafikia tutarudi a bad hope place tulikuwa na morals and everything. This is Culture Hub TV. Of course you are number one online TV and remember any place moja yenye you don't wanna miss just so make sure you subscribe to this page. Hata ikiwezekana comment there the things you think that people are doing the weird things ama anything that you think people are ready to do for the sake of uh, clicks and it will be great. Na pia pia bado we invite anyone so kama uko hapo hivyo nje and you feel to be part of this conversation you can always tag us and of course we will pull you uh, ama tutakutag location i am presenter dante until next time goodbye